All right, today we're going to talk about some different types of functions and what they should generally look like. These are things you should know. And I'm going to fly through them kind of quick. Feel free to pause the video, go back a little bit if you need to, whatever you need to to cut through these. But learn these basics. And next section, we will review transformations. And then you should be able to get a general idea of what any function looks like without having to use your calculator. So first of all, linear function could be in the form y equals mx plus b, which is any diagonal line. They also sometimes come in the form of y equals b, which is any horizontal line. So know that they don't necessarily have to be diagonal. Secondly, a polynomial. Now they look like lots of things. In general, it is really just a string of coefficients followed by x's from 2x to the fifth all the way down to 4x plus 7. So that's just a generic representation. Some examples, x cubed minus x plus 1, or x to the fourth minus 3x squared plus x. And they look a little bit like a roller coaster, could look like multiple things. This is not a picture of either of those function examples I've provided. Polynomials are just nice curves. Power functions. For example, y equals x to the first power is just a line. When you go up a power, y equals x squared looks like a parabola. We've talked, you've talked about those a lot in the past. y equals x cubed is an, a function that looks something like that y equals x to the fourth looks a lot like a parabola, but it like levels, it's a little bit fatter. Levels off a little bit more in the middle, and it shouldn't cross that x-axis. And finally, x to the y equals x to the fifth looks a little bit like the x to the third, only it levels off a little bit more. So it's not quite as deep at the origin as the y equals x cubed. Root functions. We've got three examples. If y equals the square root of x, you probably already know what that one looks like. y equals the cube root of x. That one you can cube negative numbers, so it looks kind of like the square root and its mirrored image into the third quadrant. And finally, y equals the fourth root of x. Looks a lot like the square root, only goes up a little steeper at first and levels off more doesn't get quite as high as fast, but it does have a little bit of a sharper corner. Reciprocal, y or f of x equals 1 over x. These tend to have multiple chunks with an asymptote. So 1 over x looks something like that. 1 over x squared, similar except when you square an x value, it becomes positive, so the right and left will match. Rational functions. Rational functions are in the form of two polynomials that are divided. For example, f of x equals 2x to the fourth minus x squared plus 1 all over x squared minus because there's a denominator, we typically have asymptotes that are not in the domain when the denominator equals zero, or sometimes they're whole. And a whole happens when a factor from the numerator and a factor from the denominator cancel out, where that factor equals zero is where your whole exists. 
and these have this example roughly look like this. Again, these are rough sketches, so not necessarily exact. Algebraic can pretty much look like anything, so I'm going to give you a description. If it doesn't fall into one of the other categories, it's probably algebraic. It's a combination of plus, minus, multiply, divide, and root. So, for example, or it can be something even as complicated as an equation like G. And again, they don't have a specified look, just if you can't turn it into another category, it's probably algebraic. Trigonometric. And these can be in the form of, technically, a trig function, bx plus c plus d. Any of that a, b, c, or d could be numbers there. And what's here could be sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, cosecant. So y equals sine x is just one example. Starts at the origin, does its full cycle by 2 pi, continues on to the left. Cosine, similar idea, only it starts at 0, 1, goes down and back up by the time it gets to 2 pi, and continues to the other side. And lastly, tangent, we talked about these, I believe, the other day. And tangent has asymptotes at negative pi over 4 and positive, or pi over 2, excuse me, negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. It looks like this. So just rough sketches of what those look like. Exponential could be f of x equals 2 to the x, sometimes it's in e. Specifically, to be exponential, the variable is in the exponent. And what do they all look like? Well, they all go through the point 0, 1 and look something like this. Logarithmic are similar. It could be log base of some number of x. Or, if your base is e, then you would write it ln of x, graph-wise. These all cross through the point 1, 0. We'll talk about transformations again next section. In the meantime, memorize these, know what they look like, keep your notes handy if you don't know them yet. And Slowly you'll become familiar with them enough that you won't have to graph everything on your calculator to have a rough idea of what they look like.